Grancha store continues in St. Louis right now and I want to show you three games by Ali Reza Firuja and oh my goodness he destroyed his opponents with white pieces and this is how you should use white pieces as well. In all three games he plays e4. The first one is against Wesley so he plays bishop c4 bishop opening but we transpose to Italian game. c3 castle castle knight c6 bishop g5 king in this knight h6 bishop h4. You know what I do usually? Like after e5 I usually play d4. So now the more I play d4 the more I realize how dumb I am and I mean I should just go for Italian, I should go for a Lopez, I should go for Vienna maybe. But yeah I continue with this d4, I lose the game saying so get him killed it. so don't play d4 guys. Queen is 7, a4, bishop e6, bishop d5. So the idea is that basically Wesley can't take this because there is a pin right? So g5 and here Aliraza goes for knight g5 quite typical in the structures but now knight g5 was played so Wesley was like all right if knight takes I mean I'm gonna take his bishop and I'm gonna be all right but in reality after knight is 6 queen h4 takes this knight is still being attacked and if you take this all right takes and probably should be fine so takes so and now if takes first there is bishop f2, this square on f2 is so weak that we gotta protect it first. So if our pawn was on h3, it was actually have been very very awful, because then you know g3 is not playable because of queen g3, but now g3, this pawn is protected, and Alireza is in the game, takes rook f5, and going for checkmate. And now after, let's say, rook h5, threatening checkmate, there is knight f3, let's say rook f8, trying to go for rook f3, there is knight h4, and actually black I think have to sacrifice them I mean they can't play this but then c takes b7 happens and you're just down in exchange so that didn't happen b takes a 6 queen a 2 rook f8 a 3 basically protecting everything knight e4 protecting g3 rook g6 d4 blocking the bishop on a7 and now d5 knight f2 threaten the queen queen has to go back now knight g4 threaten to e5 and now create 95 move attacking the rook on g6 and also kind of threatening c6 pawn as well d3 and now after queen d3 turns out that black are not able to take on e5 due to queen g6 so they gotta take on d3 and now they have weaknesses a lot of pawn islands and they are losing the game c5 b takes c5 to 5 trying to create counterplay but 95 f4 c6 rook b1 Group D8, and now after knight 7 black admitted their loss, as they have nothing to do, they're down material, and they will lose in the game, and of course, against Riaza, it would have been tough to defend, considering that he's down 3 minutes. Let's get to the next game, and the next game is Ali Reza versus Hikaru. They had beef, so much beef. Hikaru was talking some absolute trash about Alireza's family, but let's not talk negatively about stuff, so... French defense on the board, we have some sort of, like, this close French... I, I don't even play it, you know? A3, Knight H6, I don't even know how the line is called, I mean, you might actually tell me in the comments. State D4, Castle, Bishop D7, B4, so I know general idea, basically B5, trying to get D4 square, Rook c8, b5, knight d4, knight f5, a4, a5, not taken right away. And after queen c5, bishop a3, we're still not taken on d4. Knight d2 takes, queen c7, bishop b2, knight d2, and then slowly, you know, protecting e5. Rook c1, queen b8, knight f3, knight f5, bishop d3, and now h4, and Ireza is going for attack. Bishop e8, bishop f5, takes e6, rook c1 takes queen d6 knight g5 threatened to take on f7 now probably gotta take and we got the following position where hikaru has two bishops as of now of course alireza is probably going to take as he's forking rook and bishop rook d2 bishop d4 bishop d7 bishop e3 attacking the rook first rook d3 and now knight f8 and now it turns out that this pawn is very weak and basically alireza is saying all right hikaru you gotta deal with this takes rook c7 bishop b5 rook a7 and now this pawn is falling rook a7 rook a6 and now a7 and bishop b6 the idea is that after rook b6 there is rook f8 and a8 queen promotion 
or actually, yeah, rook b8 wins a lot easier because you don't have to sacrifice necessarily, you just take an exchange after simple takes, 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 and this is more winnable. So that didn't happen as Alireza played, Hikaru played bishop c6 and Alireza responded with rook c8. The idea is that after rook b6, Alireza has this rook c6 and it turns out that this rook endgame is actually lost for black pieces. So Hikaru of course tries to give checks, try to create some counterplay, but there is nothing he can do as the king just walks to queenside and helps this pawn promote this, king h4, rook g7, very very important move. You know why? Because basically restrict the king, so we just can't walk to this pawn, and basically this is still protected by this rook. So now all you gotta do is go up with the king, and basically here he can resign. Let's say just this, 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 and now the idea is check, 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 and now rook b7 and pawn promotes next move. And unfortunately, it looks like alright, we're gonna take the pawn, but no, protect and white wins the game. And the last game is against Nadirbek Abusator of another very talented youngster c5, d6, knight f6. I mean, both youngsters, they're my age, they're basically old now. The youngsters would be considered someone like Mishra. Uh, Bishop g5, again, Alireza, so we saw Italian, kind of, we saw very good play against French defense, and now we see the most aggressive play against Nidorf. f4, h6, and now here, look, a3, this is basically what you gotta learn. So here the idea is that after queen b2, knight a4, the queen is trapped. Very common trap. I don't, th I mean, above 2000 nobody will take it and it's, I don't think somebody below 2000 we walk into because you just uh, like don't know the theory yet, but I mean, it's a cool freak to know, let's say you knight on d4, you knight on c3 and then you know, pawn on b2 is hanging, but it turns out that basically your bishop on the pawn blocks b5 and this, this, b4 takes, b5 knight and bishop and b6 knight. And this queen has no check as knight c3 and no squares of escape. But that didn't happen. Of course, hard I and mean, strong level grandmaster. Bishop f2, and again the pawn couldn't be taken at a4. Queen f3, e5, knight f5, takes takes, d5, try not go for this typical maneuver. h5, bishop e2, knight d7, castle, long castle. And here it turns out that Alireza's position is actually winning. Rook d4, because this king is very weak. Bishop c5, rook c4, now some b4 have been threatened. In b8, bishop c5, knight c5, queen a3, knight d7, knight d4, rook e8, queen c3, takes takes, knight b6, rook c5, knight d7, rook a5, c8, bishop d3. Sorry for going this quickly, but I don't think there is like a lot I can you know explain to you. b6, rook a6, sacrifice and exchange. And at some point it looked like, alright, the Dirbyak actually got some counterplay. In d7, rook c5, especially here, the computer is saying that position is completely equal, but again, guys, in the rapid, Alireza is up on time. And the game we actually watched, he was actually up on time in most of the games, so Alireza feels the clock really well. So it's very interesting to see, it looks like he's in great shape. So, and then, you know, we have classical tournament after the rapid and bleed portion, so it's gonna be fun. Fun to watch, fun to spectate. Knight c5, king f7, knight d3, king f6, king e3, takes, takes, b4, ok2, king d2, king f5, king c3, takes. And basically, those pawns are completely unstoppable, and white won the game. So, after three days, three days of rapid, what we can see here? Is Jan Nepomniši is first, and actually Alireza and Maxim Varshielagraf all tied with 11 points each. And they will have an insane blitz, which I'll recap tomorrow and the day after tomorrow. And of course we'll have classical tournaments starting soon, so stay tuned. A lot of recaps coming, we have a lot of events. Especially, I mean, Hans is playing right now versus Nikita Vitigov and Hans just became world number 20. It's a lot of fun right now in Chess World, so let's see what happens next couple of weeks. Olympiad coming. I'll see you in the next recaps. Bye bye.